Okay, everyone, uh, welcome back to part two of the vlog. Here we have the finished product, the finished trailer. There's a lot of work that my brother put into it, and I did a week's worth of work. Here you have an area for you know a cooler. It can fit a really large cooler. And here we have a mounted battery that operates the pump for the sink. That way, if I'm ever out somewhere, I don't have to be connected. And that battery is powered while you're driving, so it'll never run out of battery. So here we have the sink and you know a little area for firewood or anything that you need. Uh, here we have the electrical box for all the wires. It just looks really clean. A lot of times they just leave wires loose to the bottom. Um, this makes it look a lot better. And there's the side light. And then here you have you know your plug for the propane tank that connects to the burners. And I didn't put that. Sometimes they sell you a metal no circular thing that holds the tank, but I just like it. I'll just probably put a couple bungee cords because uh, it fit perfectly in there. Uh, and that way, if I ever want extra storage, I can put that in there and put the tanks inside. Uh, for the sink, we opted for the tap-in screws just in case there were a leak or you, if the if the pump uh, breaks, you can reach in real easily. Uh, for the stainless steel, we did rivets just because it looks a lot more industrial. And it would have been better to put rivets on the sink, but Again, if there's ever a leak or anything like that, it's just easier to work with with tap-in screws and just do that. And then here we have a little area. It's not big, um, you know, but it'll be at least you know enough for beans and you got to move something from the hot stove. Um, and then here we have the three burners I bought from Amazon. Um, it fit real nice. And then more stainless steel. And then the back right here, you have the way that I'm going to put water for the water tank. I think it can fit over 20 gallons. And then we have the hose that connects to the front. So it can hold a lot of water in the water tank. You know, it should never leak. Um, but on the tire mount, we did do it like a, a way where you can take out the tire if you need it, like a hitch system. And that way, if you need to get to the water tank, uh, you can just pop out the rivets. But there's, there should be no reason why the water tank would go bad. Uh, but it, it's just just in case and getting to the good stuff the main chamber where all the food's going to be cooking uh we have the two by two feet by two feet by two feet firebox and inside my nephew my 14 year old nephew uh, built this fire grate with some strap that we had left over really heavy duty strap um, that would just the fire breathes better and that way just protects the bottom a little bit more it's quarter inch thick stick steel everything's quarter inch thick and here we have the main chamber again we, i really want to use these for briskets but we did lay but drain so we could actually cook chicken fajitas anything in here if i ever need to, to do that um so it's a lot of cooking area and then i went with tell true gauges so black on black with black gauges uh, they're a little bit more expensive but they're just better looking um and the smokestack is eight inches by eight inches so it's massive and the reason it's so big is because we had to uh, share that same smokestack with a vertical smoker just because it has to fit in my garage so we couldn't do it as tall as i would have wanted it uh, i'd rather have the trailer fit inside i don't have to worry about it being gone when i wake up and then we have five different racks uh, and the it's about five inches apart, one of them six inches apart, one of them seven inches apart, and I think the ones are also fives. And my nephew did these little angle irons, that way if ever I have to get back there, I could just pull out the grate and move the stuff around and then put it back in. And on the bottom we have the fire, uh, the, the, the pan, the water pan that's going to be protecting it from the fire. Um, again, this is, has its own independent uh, firebox. Uh, just because, again, I explained in the last video, the smoke dissipates over time. And here we have a little damper, just so I can have the door closed all the time. And I did say this in the last video, but the, this main one is 24 inches wide, 30 inches deep, and 5 feet tall. So it's a massive it's a massive area. I'm going to need a little ladder to get to the top area because I'm not that tall. But it's just great. And so you can see from the back, the firebox goes from 24 the main chamber is 28 inches and then the vertical is 30 inches and my, it was all my brother 
who came up with that design. I think it looks really clean. It was a lot harder for him to do that, but it just gives it a little bit more accent, I think, to the barbecue pit. And again, my brother could have just done everything round and he wouldn't have to do so much welding or grinding, but you know, he likes to go all out. Uh, he's not, again, he's not a professional welder, but man, this is one of the best pits, pits I've seen out there, it's just real clean. So I'm really appreciative. So we're gonna get cooking real soon. I'm really glad that you guys saw the video. If you like it, please subscribe and just leave a comment. Let me know what you think about you know, the pit.